What is going on everybody? X Factory Gaming here and welcome to the 100 subscriber special. And in this episode, I'm going to be playing Street Hockey 95 for the first time ever for the NES. We're going to go Fat Point. And that's 7. Now here's here's how it works. If loser's puck, stick shot is worth a point and swat shot is worth 2. I'm not really sure what swat shot actually means, but we'll find out. Anyways, apparently I don't get to pick my team here, so I don't even know who I'm controlling. But which way I'm even going. No, we're gonna go back to the game menu here. I don't know who I'm controlling and it's not probably not my usual team anyway. Anyways, we're gonna go new game. Slap off. Fat point. Seven. Rules have already been explained. Let's go through with it. Power child. So Jill is Power Child. That's her name. Grace is Whoa. Turbo Glide, I guess, or Woo. And then Laura is my bully Shred Dog. Woo is a horrible nickname. Okay, so fat point just basically means we're going to seven. Anyway, here we go. Snack on it. Jill is in the pink there. And you hit select Return. to go back and forth between screens, which is alright, I guess. Gnarly. A is your check, or yeah, A, B is check, A is slash, I guess. Or, excuse me, yeah, A is, A is check, B is, B is check, A is slash, I got that backwards. B is also shit. A is pass. That's all you really need to know, because the rest of these, I believe, are tough. Did I just close line them? Yep. So apparently, Ellen, the R button is close line. <laughs> okay. Owie. Sticky D. Sticky D. I don't know what that means, and I'm probably not sure. I'm almost sure I don't want to either. I love how the street is sloped in a half pipe position. It's interesting. Did we score? Because I heard the buzzer go off. Yep, we scored. So we're our score is on the left side. The computer score is on the right. Graphically, this game <coughs> is about as good as a Super Nintendo sports game is going to get. Richter. Music and sound-wise, also pretty darn good. And it controls very well and simply. Kind of reminds me of NHL 3s, really, from the current day NHL games, as the game ties itself at 1 here. Or it's 2 to 1 us now. Or 2 to 1 them. Okay, so they got a SWAT shot, which is worth 2. We're playing to 7 here. On those ramps, I love how they. Oh, that's what a swat shot is. You go off the ramp and you shoot it into the goal as a swat shot. The ramps don't appear every which way, though. Rejected. Don't get checked. Oh, that ramp just appeared in the wrong way. Wrong part of town there for that ramp. They appear at random, too, by the way. Can I, can I cross check somebody? There it is, right there, that clothesline. Power child! Again, this mode is first to seven. Off the ramp, and again, it's facing the wrong way. That was facing the right way, but I didn't have the fuck. Uh, 
Actually, you can flip off the uh, ramp here. You have to hold a. Uh, you have to hold L to do it, though. I think. Yep, holding L will give you a trick off the ramp. Rocket man! Somebody should have given me the puck. Ah, I, hurt, I hit two ramps straight without the puck. Anyway, this is actually a pretty fun game overall. I'm trying to figure out how I pulled that trick without... Take it there we go, so you gotta have the momentum to do it. Oh, too bad those ramps are facing in. the wrong way. Again. I'd like to shout out to my friend Keith, who was actually one of my last two subscribers that pushed me over 100. Thank you for the subscription, and I hope you enjoy the videos, Keith. And let me see if I can get the name of the other guy that just gave me, no, he gave me my number 100 here. I don't really remember who it was. And also, uh, Levon Oz. Oz Frunku, if I've said that right. Thank you and Keith for being number 99 and 100 respectively. Hope you guys enjoy the content. Speaking of enjoy the content, enjoying content, segue. If you go on to like what you see in this video, like, comment, and give us a uh, give me a subscribe. Every little subscription, comment, like, all that good stuff helps. Man, if only I had that of uh, the putt going across that ramp. my name, don't wear it out. Gnarly. Those ramps come up at the wrong time. That's my main gripe with this. This uh, particular stage here. Or arena, whatever you want to call it. This particular park, I guess. The ramps come up at the exact wrong time. Flop off the rampway there. I like that. Run off the ramp with a clothesline. Wait, there's blood in the game, I think. I thought I just saw some blood. Eh, no. By the way, this game was made by a telephone company, ironically, GTE. Shame I couldn't get off the ramp when you passed. When I had the puck again, by the way. I'm not just going to skate around here and try to find an open ramp. Because they all appear at random, unfortunately. Goal. Yes. You tie it up at two, folks. think should I cover this more <clears throat> leave me a comment on why or why I shouldn't cover this anymore I think it's just an interesting enough game to get its own series but I want that to be up to you guys and if you have any ideas for what I should cover next as long as I can emulate it or if I have it in my collection let me know in the comments below 
Darwin. Or you can tweet me. My my Twitter is in the description below. Richter! Sticky D! Darling! I love how she's skating backwards and doesn't even realize it. Now she herself ends up with well, If only somebody had passed me the puck while I was in there, we'd have a 3-2 lead right now. What a bone crunching hit there. See if I can put this in. Not even. I think coming up the ramp, wouldn't that have been a swat shot? Like off the uh, side pipes here? Or the half pipes or whatever you want to call them? <clears throat> the voices in this game sound like something out of NBA Jam's Tim Kitzro. I know it's not, but it makes it, it reminds me of him. More recent fans, Mutant Football League splits uh, Grim Blitzro. Same guy. Give it up, baby. So another one I want to cover in the future oh, yeah. is Mutant Football League. Not before I cover Mutant League Football, though, it's predecessor. So we're having a little trouble getting the lead here. It'll take a while. Goal. Five two. Oh, excuse me. What's the, what's the score now? I'm up three two. Okay. I try to give myself more than I actually had. Gives. They just got a swat shot, didn't they? Off the ramp. Nope. One pointer. Three three. characters talk way too much but it does give it a certain charm and a certain attitude about it and again this bears repeating this reminds me of the commentary team from mutant football league of, what is it blim grim blit how, help me out here Rejected. grim blitzro brickhead mulligan and brickhead mulligan jr just that kind of attitude i like that Snapped under just once. Go ballistic. What's up with that? She's got a break. She shoots. Score. It's a good game of of a uh, street hockey ninety five here. Now that we've got it figured out, we've been doing a lot better. Oh, 
Harley. Job. Keep harassing him. Maybe he'll give up the puck. Snap on. You can do that in this game. You can actually harass players as much Harley. as you want without fear of penalty. Like in the NHL games. If you like that kind of thing, this game might be for you. I'm definitely going to say it's for me. Harley. I would definitely recommend trying this out at least. Since you can emulate it now, anyway. That's what I'm doing. And I'm not afraid to say it. Backhander. Ease. Wow. And I want to point out no icing, no offside, so you can go wherever you want with that puck. Of course, this is street hockey, it makes sense. I, I don't remember if I said this, but the music and sound are perfect for this game too. The graphics remind me of something remind me of something out of Mortal Kombat. And that that is why this game gets a 75 out of 100 for me, a 25 in every single category. The categories being graphics, sound music, sound and music in one category, and gameplay. The controls are just simple enough to where you get the hang of them pretty fast. The music Return. fits the game, and I love the voices, which counts as sound, by the way. Which is, again, why this game gets a 75 out of 100 and a solid recommendation from this player. Shoot the fuck. I'm gonna pass it instead of shoot it. Alright, I didn't know I had it. Took the check, took... Power child. Shoot, I lost the puck coming off a ramp, but that would have gone in. Go for it! Now, I'm not for sure, but I don't think anyone outside of North America got this one. Brits, Euros, if you guys remember this game, let me know in the comments. I don't think anyone but North America got it. That bite. Did we score? Nope, tied 4-4. Four, four. Somebody get a two-pointer to break this thing open. Can it. Okay, so that's what a squad shot is. It has to be done in the air. It doesn't necessarily need to be off a ramp. It can be done on the rebound, too. Harley. You're gonna do it off a ramp. You need perfect timing off the pass to get it done. Dinosaur! Something I don't have, and I'm not going to try it. I love how when you press the, pressing on the opposite way of which you're going to stop, I love how they slide on their knees like a rock star. Uh, kind of reminds me of. The Home Alone games, we slide on your knees like a rocker just to avoid some stuff. Step on it. And word of warning, don't try to come off, as we score again, don't try to come off the half pipe with the puck, you'll lose the puck every single time. 
I mean, this game has a very simple learning curve. If you're getting blown out like I was in one of my practice games, the game will show you a little mercy and let you have a couple, let you score a few goals on your own. If we can get to six, we might have this one. Get to six before they score again, that is. See what we can do here to get that six goal. The Harley. Me miss it, me getting the puck Don't instead of missing it a hundred times over might help. Give me the puck. Yeah, good boy, give me the puck. Six because I heard the buzzer go off. Six four. We can still win this. Wait, we scored. I didn't even see that. One more and we're in. One more and we win it. Now don't blow it. Can it? Can it? Take it all the way. Launch it. I wish I had the puck, and I would if I did. Hey, thank you. Give it up, baby. Give me slap. Richter. Alright, so I've done the review part of this, and now I want to know what your guys' review of this is. Let me know in the comments below what you think. Should I cover this again? Again, let me know. If the post, we would have won it right there. Put it on in. Shot already. I hate these AI players. The ones on your team. 
team barely ever shoot. I have to do it myself most of the time. Block there. This one NHL game, that'd be a block shot. I don't understand why this game didn't get all the much attention outside of being buried in a sea of in a sea of hockey games. I mean, the market was kind of oversaturated. You had your NHL, your Wayne Gretzky's, your uh, NHL All Star Hockey's. Now I kind of see why this got buried. We did it, Harley. Stop it. With all those good hockey games, this one is good, I know, but this wasn't good enough to live up to expectations to the rest, I guess. Or being made by GTE and Accolade, or GTE alone, I think, made this one. I'd have to look it up and let y'all know next time. But with a smaller company making this, maybe that's why. It was the name. The, like I said earlier, I believe a phone company made this, which means that they wouldn't be known for their games. They'd be known for their telephones and things like that. Hey, if this game looks fun to you, check it out. Definitely looks worth looks like it's worth another play to me. I'll take that. Or not. I jumped off a stupid ramp. Richter! Dinosaur! Don't get checked! 
And that'll be the game, ladies and gents. If this, like I said, if this game is appealing to you, then by all means, check it out. But for now, that's it for Street Hockey 95. I want to thank you guys for tuning in, and we'll see you again soon. Bye.